Hello everyone, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Today we're going to be setting up a sidebar or inspector layout for Reaper. That looks something like this, where we've got our effects inserts, effects parameters, sends, and all of the track controls in a vertical mixer strip beside our range view. And it follows whichever track is selected. A lot of people like this layout. It's used a lot in other DAWs like uh, Cubase and Logic. So if you're coming over from those DAWs, this can make it more familiar. And for this, we're going to be using the screen sets and layouts window. Essentially, a screen set is a way that you can set up all of your windows and instantly recall it later. So this is my default layout. If I press two on my keyboard, I go to my large mixer layout. If I press three, it's kind of half and half. I use this a lot when I'm mixing. I've got my effects browser docked on the right. I've got a toolbar of mixer commands that I like to use. I have a good size view of the arrange view. If I press four, this is the layout that I use most often for editing video, where I have my video window. I have the effects browser in another tab. I have my uh, marker list. I have my mixer, media explorer, and my action list. If I go to number five, this is one I saved earlier today uh, to set up this uh, sidebar layout. All right, so we're going to start with screen set one, and we're going to go to the view menu and go to screen sets and layouts. And in here, you can see that I have screen sets one through five with the load key one through five on my keyboard, and I hold shift to save a screen set. We can do it from this window. You just double click on any of these and it will load but I like to do it through the keyboard shortcuts. And these aren't the default shortcuts. You'll need to set those up yourself. And it's really easy. Just go to edit shortcuts. And if you want to, let's say, load screen set number six, click on add, click six, and OK. I don't want to save it for this for right now uh, because I'm using number six for another thing, but that's how you would do it. And all of the load ones, you just want it to be the same. So shift one, exclamation point, so yeah, you get the idea. So we're going to show the mixer view and a mixer. And it starts out really big docked in the bottom of the window. We're going to take this mixer tab, the dock tab at the bottom. We're going to drag it to the middle of the edge of the screen. So uh, you see this faint gray line here. We're going to drag and drop there. And now we have the mixer docked on the left of Reaper's arrange view. I'm going to set this up so that we have all of the parameters and things that we want to see. Right click anywhere on the master track. Enable show sends when size permits. Show effects inserts when size permits. I'm going to enable uh, show effects parameters when size permits. Optionally, you can have the track icons if you like to have that. And you can see my other options here. I think one important one that you would want to disable here is show multiple rows of tracks when size permits. And when we have all of these settings the way we like, go to master track and uncheck show and mixer. So it's only going to have tracks, not the master. And we just have to resize this uh, right there. And so we click on two, three, four, five, and six, and the view automatically changes. So that's pretty much it. We just need to save this as a screen set, and we can do that from the screen sets and layouts window. Click on save uh, for the slot number that you want. And I just enable all of these options just so that I know that everything on the screen is going to be saved the way we want. So there you go. It's really simple to set up a uh, inspector layout in Reaper. And so that's it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you've learned something. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. You can Join our Facebook group, Reaper Blog Community. You can support the Reaper Blog through Patreon and find a lot more tutorials on reaperblog.net. Thank you.